Today, I'm going to review 10 different ways to open the wine bottle if you don't have the corkscrew, which is better, which is easier and safer. At the very end, I'm going to give you my own ranking and tell you which one you should use if you don't have a corkscrew. This is an example of a bottle which doesn't have a cork. You just turn it, then it's open. There's really nothing there. You can just drink. If you don't have a cap type, you have a cork, how do you open? Of course, the first step is take the packing off and you expose the cork. Basically, there are three types of solution. First, you try to take the cork out. The second, you try to push it in. The third, you can damage it. Of course, taking this out, the easiest, you use a corkscrew. If you don't have it, what do you do? Some alternative. This is one good alternative. You use a screwdriver and put a screw in here. I'm showing too much in. You just measure the lines, use a, a plier to pull it out. That's a, one good solution. Of course, if you have a, this kind of thing, this would not work because this is too big. This will be a little bit too small. This is your door stopper, a little bit too small. And some people use key. I, I tried it, it didn't really work well. I don't want to break my key. You try to actually turn it and maybe it works. It's just a little bit too risky. And this I tried, it works well. This is long enough. You screw this in and use this to pull it out. So this works. One interesting solution is use a shoe like this and then try to hit the wall like this. I'm going to do some experiment and show you if it really works. I'm going to do some experiment. The second is push it in. You can use a, a toothbrush. This is a good handle. You can and try to push it in. Of course, you will wonder because of the water is, is not compressible, can you really push this? Uh, you see some of the bubble here, meaning there's some amount of uh, air in between the, the cork and the, the wine. The wine is not compressible, but the air is. So I'm going to do an experiment using this. Of course, you can use a, a pencil or chopstick, but it's hard to hold. So you have to really use this to hit a wall. If you have really a very strong pen, you can hold it like this and try to push it in. This is an example. You have a, a toothbrush with handle. It's not easy, but eventually, see, it went in. Uh, going in halfway now. So this would work and painless. And you can use a, a chopstick like this and beginning do this uh, on the floor. But when it's getting almost there, try to do things on the wall. When it's open, it doesn't get out. Oh, see, it went in. Yeah, so there's some air. See, this will work. Now the cork is pushed all the way in. Some of the wines really old, so the cork is disintegrating. So you can't really use this, take it out. You may just use the drill, try to damage. So the third type of solution is damage. Some people use a file, try to cut a line, and then remove the neck of the bottle. But it's likely you have some remainder of some glass debris and that's not good. You don't want to do that. I have very special tool. This is for cutting glass. That would work. But would have the same problem of leaving small glass pieces. Uh, yeah, you have to be very careful. Also, good. I would rather prefer damage the cork. Some professional tool to cut the neck of the bottle use the property of the glass which cannot expand under heat. They have a metal and they heat very hot and put on top of it, put some ice on it and then you can take the neck off. If I want to take it off, I will just use a file or a tool like this, uh, like a glass tool. I try to align to this edge and try to cut it. And then afterwards, just use this to tap it. And well, tap it here. You have the... See, it came off. I didn't get that. You didn't get it? It came off. It's not as clean as I was like. You whack this on the wall, why this will come out. When you move this, the whole thing will move. Once this hit the wall, the whole thing all suddenly stop. 
and because of the momentum of this you would think the cork would go in because it would try to keep its momentum in this direction but because this is so light the M is so small this effect is not as significant so that's why the cork would not go in but rather the pressure inside and outside would uh, be different the inside would be higher than the outside that's what i think the reason the cork can come out the second question is is the water heating this or is the air you see this is a new bottle when you turn it up horizontal actually there's no air it's a hundred percent wine in contact with the cork so it's the liquid form so the question is would be better if you shake it down so the water will press this down or is it better if most people try it this way so that's another question so i will do experiment very objectively this is one packaging i put the wine in the packaging i'll cover this I drop this whole thing up in the same height and I will drop this whole box from that height to this I will count how many times once this is come out a certain uh, length I will record that result the next experiment I will drop the bottle this way to see whether it's the same so I will reuse the cork once it's come out I'll push it back and do the experiment again so that we know the comparisons apple to apple except that if it's already come out once does that in some way make it easier for it to come out a second time the first experiment i have is this i come out and push it back and then i do experiment this way and push it back and the third experiment i'll do this way to see whether the first time and third time is different so that way I can make sure it's not the effect of um, the sequence but I do want the same cork and same wine see I hit it so hard but you are wondering why not hit this way with a tree branch or just uh, on the floor do this can we speed up this process so this doesn't really work well if I fasten like this you see this will go out so I decide to just fasten a wood plank, just to fasten them. I can either drop this in the summer height like this, or the reverse way to see, is this uh, coming out easier, or the other way. Drop in 25 times, now there's a quarter inch out. I did uh, 35 times drop in with uh, the neck facing up. There's uh, nothing out and I give up. So that Berman showed dropping the auto this way would not work, but dropping this way would work. I think uh, sticking with uh, punching on the wall should uh, work and doing this will not work. Now is the summary. I think the best if you don't have a corkscrew is use the chopstick. You use the chopstick very easy and very safe the only problem is you have to finish all the wine i think the second easiest is use the screw like this but the screw you have to have a proper tool to have a, a plier and the screw and the screwdriver so that's a inconvenient the next the option of a shoe everyone has a shoe the only problem is it will take a long time so i would recommend you do combine you combine either use the key or sharp object and move the cork a little bit and then use the shoe that way you don't have to pound the wall so many times but if you have the keys or the screw why not just keep using that to get it all the way out of course you can do that if you are able the cork is soft as your dick is deteriorating with other sharp object except the screw is a little bit hard so once you push this in and you can drink it after you finish at the party actually you can show a trick how to take the cork out the cork is inside how do you take it out take a plastic bag this is a, a bright bag you try to push it in with a chopstick so push this in try to move the cork around here so the, the cord is here and then you try to blow air into it and then you try to pull this out and then pull harder 
<laughs> ah, so this plastic is not as uh, not as strong as you strong. would like. If you really can find a plastic bag strong enough, you can pull this out. Okay. 